Welcome back to the Strategic Stripping Podcast. This is part two of the psychology of selling. Picking up from where we left off, the rest of this is mental. It's not sales tactics per se, it's internal sales tactics, it's internal beliefs. And I promise you, this is the most important. Because you could be hot as fire, but if you have a shitty mindset, a lot of people won't buy from you. If you're super confident and not so hot, you'll still get customer after customer that will say yes to you one after another. As a reminder, the more you like yourself, the higher your self-esteem will be. Your confidence levels will rise, which means it'll become easier for you to approach customers. You'll be more optimistic and have a positive mental attitude more often. Remember, the more you like yourself, the more you'll like other people. And the more you like other people, the more they'll like you. And the more they'll want to buy from you, and they'll tell their friends that they should buy from you. The more you like yourself, the better a friend you are, the better a boss you are, the better spouse, girlfriend, fantasy girl, stripper, hustler, and moneymaker you'll be. The more you like yourself, the better is every aspect of your life. This will also lower your stress levels and strengthen your immune system. I was mistaken in the last video when I gave you the top four things that Brian Tracy said that everyone wants, being health, love, meaningful work, and work that we do well. Apparently, meaningful work and work that we do well is one topic. So the last one is financial independence, which is the entire reason why strategic stripping was born, was to teach girls how they could become financially independent, really how they could make a lot more money, and then quickly I decided, quickly I realized Making money is great, but if you don't know what to do with your money and you blow it, you're going to end up back at square one. So really financial freedom was the key, but I didn't figure that out until about three months into it. Okay, so it's time for you and I to start doing some projections. This is very serious work. This isn't something to just listen to this video and forget about. This is something that is necessary for your future. It really is. So this is to start thinking about your future. Your future is coming, and if you don't know where you're going, you're already there. If you don't know where you wanna go now, five years will go by and you still won't know where you wanna go. So pick a direction. This is the day that you're going to start picking a direction of where to go. So let's really go through this. Brian Tracy, the guy whose stuff we're talking about right now, the psychology of selling, He's been studying millionaires since a very young age and he still does it. You can type him in on YouTube and he's almost 80 at this point. So he's spent an entire lifetime studying successful people. And the number one thing I hear him talk about that helps people is writing down your goals. So you and I are going to do this. I actually already finished mine, so now you got to catch up. Most people in life just wander, never really knowing where they're going, thinking that life is just happening to them. This is not true. You make life happen through you. And if you don't know where you're going or what you want, you're just going to keep getting the random bullshit that you and other people are thinking about too, which is mostly you're just picking up stuff that the television and the radio and other people are saying, and most people don't know where they're going in life. When someone new comes into your life, maybe a customer, if you don't know what you want, you're subject to what they want, if they know what they want. If that customer comes in there not really knowing what he wants, you can convince him of what you want, which is to show him a great time and to make money or make a lot of money. I'm just trying to make a point. Life isn't just happening to you and life isn't happening for you. Life is happening through you. If life was happening for you, you'd always be getting the best because God or the universe or whatever wants the best for you. But from my observation, from lots of research, it seems to be that it's happening through you. Reality exists through you. This dives deep into quantum physics there, but this means you're getting what you're thinking about and most people are not thinking about what they want. Brian Tracy says writing down your goals is the number one thing you can do to achieve them. When you physically write down your goals, you lock your subconscious mind on that target. And like a homing pigeon can be stolen away from its home, locked in a cage, and driven 1,100 miles away from home, when you open that cage up, that pigeon will find its way home. Your subconscious does the same thing. It's locked in on its target when it knows what it wants but it has to know what the target is to get it. So I really mean to do this. Do it because it will change your life. Your assignment, whether you choose to accept it or not, 
is to write down 10 goals. And I really want you to do this for real. Write down 10 goals. I've known this for a long time, but I think I have very unique goals. So I was always afraid to write them down because I was afraid that someone would find them and be like, what the fuck is this chick on? But you know what, girls? Life is too short to be worried about what other people are thinking about when it comes to what you want. This is your life. This is not anybody else's. Think as big as you can here when you're writing down your goals. Shoot for the stars. We've got one shot at this life. And I've heard it's just as hard to go for huge goals as it is to live through life playing small. You'd get to lay in bed a lot more, but I don't know about you, but when I lay in bed being depressed, feeling anxious, knowing I'm wasting my time in my life, it's harder for me to do that than it is to make myself get up out of bed, go to a meetup group that I know can have a profound impact on my life, or to go to work out, or to go to travel, or even to go to work. I've laid in bed countless times not wanting to go to work, waiting until it was too late to go, and then regretted it for the rest of the night that I didn't go. And that, I can promise you, is harder than not going. I'm sure a lot of you know this. I can't imagine how many outstanding customers both of us have missed out on because of that. And the more that time goes on, this is absolutely true, the more you realize you can't go back. You miss every shot that you don't take. Life is a now or never kind of game. Get in the game now. Forget about yesterday. Yesterday and the past don't matter. You can start a new life for yourself today. Get in the game and let's play to go for something big. So no matter what your goals are, no matter how crazy you think they sound, remember what Steve Jobs said. It's the people that are crazy enough to think that they can change the world that do. So when you write down your goals, it programs them into your subconscious mind. Even if your conscious mind doesn't remember, that's okay because your subconscious mind does and is working 24 hours a day to bring that reality to you. We still have some time left in this video. So if you appreciate anything I've ever brought to the table for you throughout any single video or audio I've ever made you, please do this for the both of us. Your success means so much to me. You don't even understand. Get a piece of paper and a pen. You can hide this piece of paper when you're finished. You can tape it inside of an air duct, tape it on top of your fan, tape it under your dresser, or or tape it on the wall in front of you. But physically write down your goals and go for 10. And if you have no idea what to write, the number one that I would start with, and this is also what Napoleon Hill from Think and Grow Rich says, is you want to be an optimistic person. You want to be a positive person. That's also what Brian Tracy said in the last video. We talked about this. So maybe write down as your number one goal, I am a radically optimistic person. This one thing will make your entire life better. You'll always be looking for the best case scenario and what we look for, we find. Another good one to write is, I am in the top 10% of income earners in the world. In the world, just go for it. I am in the top 10% of income earners in the world. My goal while I was working in the strip club was to be in the top 10% of income earners in the club. I've said this many times. The thing that I don't think that I mentioned was that it wasn't hard to get there. And now I realize that this was small thinking. Knowing what I know now, I know, I know as an entertainer, you can get into the top 10% of income earners in the country, in the United States, which means I think in the world. You would need to make approximately $14,000 a month to get in the top 10% of income earners in the world. Now, we both know that that's a lot, but we've got our whole lives ahead of us to figure it out. Now we can say we have a number, we have a target, we have a goal. You are going to start making $14,000 every single month. That is your goal. To get in the top 10%, you're going to start making $14,000 a month. Just, just it, I think it sounds easier, personally, I think it sounds easier to say, I'm in the top 10% of income earners in the world because your subconscious mind already knows what it's going for. So start thinking about that. You are in the top 10% of income earners in the world. Claim it as yours. Claim it as your reality. You don't need to tell anyone that this is your goal, but you can silently start reminding yourself that this is your goal. And keep saying it over and over with faith. You might not know how, but that's irrelevant. And when you have ideas that are ones you feel like you're supposed to act on, make it happen. One step at a time. Lay out a plan. Maybe look for a partner whose strengths are your weaknesses. Like if you are really good with people, find someone else that's really good with paperwork. 
because that matters for a business. Make a website, make a premium Snapchat, a YouTube channel, a podcast, make a call to someone that you know is successful and ask them how they did it. Go to an event to learn from successful people. Talk to the people that you know you should talk to. Start to network. Start to save your money because you've got an incredible opportunity right now with you. Start to save it so that you can invest it. Grant Cardone, who's one of the most successful entrepreneurs that I know of, says that there's no reason for saving other than investing. You save your money so that you can invest in something that's going to bring you more money. You don't need to know how. We just need to know what. Claim it now. You belong in the top 10% of income earners. You have to get there mentally before you can get there physically. And once you're there, it's your job to stay there in your mind and in reality. If you're thinking to yourself right now, there's no way you could make it in the top 10%, I want to give you some very legit things to think about. We have a job that when it comes to how much we can make, we are on the same playing field as doctors and lawyers and whatever else job our parents told us to get that they thought would be good for us. But we have none of the overhead, we have none of the same fees, and we don't have to go into massive debt going to college, and our income is only capped by how much we work and how creative we are at work. The next thing I want you to realize is that everyone that's in the top 10% at one point was in the bottom 90%, and probably at the bottom 10%. Everyone that's making the most money in our clubs was once not even working in the club at all. They started at the same place as the rest of us. They started at the bottom and you've already started or you're getting started. Either way, it doesn't matter. The point is you can get to wherever you want to go. It might take time, but everything that's worthwhile takes time. Time is going to keep passing no matter what we do. So we might as well have a goal to get in the top 10% because quite frankly, life will ultimately be a lot harder if we don't try. If we try to do the easy thing and just fuck around on our shifts until we make what we need to cover for our week or for our bills or for the rest of the month so we don't have to go in again, ultimately life will be played very small on our part and you're not doing anyone any favors by playing small. You can become super powerful. You can. You can become financially independent. You can help your family. You can help yourself. You can help your friends. You can help your community. You can help the country. And having money equals power. It really does. And the more money you have, the more power you have. You can get power without money too, absolutely. But they go very much hand in hand. Brian Tracy says that there's nothing that's going to stop you from getting into the top 10% if you just keep trying and never quit. And this is advice from a man that spent his entire life studying super wealthy people. There's nothing to stop you. You have to decide first that you're going to do it though. Decide that you're going to do it. You are going to get in the top 10% of income earners in the world. Just say it. I am going to get in the top 10% of income earners in the world. And you're never going to stop until you get there. And if you decide this now, you'll get there faster. You don't have to know how. You just have to know what you want. What one skill, if you were the most excellent at, would help you the most? Now, this could be in the strip club and this could also be in life. And I would say in the strip club, I believe it's giving the sexiest dance in the club. Because if you know you give a good fucking dance, a dance that they are going to want another one and another one and another one, selling becomes easy. Because you don't have to be shy about being a hella good dancer. And when they see your genuine confidence, when they see that you know you're going to deliver, they're going to want to go with you and find out. And this is a learnable skill, ladies. Go watch other dancers on Instagram. There's plenty of them. My God, there's so many different pole dancers on Instagram. There's, I'm sure there's floor dancers. You could check out, just find sexy people to follow and copy them and add your own spin and just go with it. Even if you feel silly when you got your head down, you're looking at this customer like, I know you fucking want me. Even if inside you're like, I don't know this guy is interested at all. Just keep pretending that he is. Really, really go for it. And you'll start to see results. Trust me, you will start to see the results that you want, which is more and more dances, more and more yeses, more and more how can I keep in touch with you. 
and you should, by the way. I would collect email addresses, though, and this is going to need to be another topic that we talk about. I think I've talked about this at some point, but you do not want to lose the guys that spend a lot of money on you. I did. I put, put this in another video called Whales versus Minnows. That's a really good video that surprisingly didn't get much attention. So if you haven't seen that one, go pay attention to it because it's a really, really, it's a really important video. I promise. I think it's one of the most important videos I've made so far, actually, for lots of good reason, which you'll understand if you go watch it. Okay, there's going to be another part to the psychology of selling segment, but I'm going to leave it for next time. In the meantime, grab a piece of paper and a pen if you haven't already and write down at least 10 goals that you are going to achieve. If you're looking for suggestions, I would write down, I am a radically optimistic person. I give the sexiest dance in my club. I am in the top 10% of income earners in the world. I am fit, sexy, and fun. The last six I will leave you to decide on your own. You can do it. Whatever it is that you feel in your gut that you want in the world, start writing it down and don't be afraid to write them down big. There's the remaining two and a half minutes to the song. If you're not driving, take this time to write down your goals. And if you are, use this time to start thinking about your goals and then write them down as soon as you can. All right, ladies, I love you very, very, very much. I wouldn't be doing this still if I didn't. Stay positive and we will talk soon.